Hey guys, it's Tech Racer and today we're going to discuss or today I'm going to show you eight top tricks or tips you can use on your MSP GTS 2 Mini to just simply improve your battery life. Now I just researched about this uh, tricks and tips and then I'm making this video. Again, this is the requested video. So if you found this video really helpful, then drop that like button and subscribe button and uh, let's get started with the video. So first of all, uh, there were a lot of comments from the user regarding the battery life. Although I have made uh, like a full review of this watch, you can go and watch it in the i button. And there were a lot of users who were requesting to make a video on how to have some like better battery life or some like configuration, some settings which can drastically improve their battery life. So there, are, so these are the top eight things that you can do on your MSW GTS2 Mini to simply improve battery life. Now there are some settings and feature uh, which you might have to turn it off. So if you're okay with dropping off those features, you can completely fine. You can just go ahead with it. If you're not okay with it, you can simply skip that thing as well. So now let's talk about the first one itself. So first of all, simply go to settings. Then go to screen of watch face. So this is in short the always on display. Now I recommend you to simply turn it off if you are not using it that drastically because this is one of the most battery consuming feature on this watch. Although it is having an AMOLED display but still uh, running the display like 24 7 it's de definitely gonna just uh, stretch some of the juice from the battery. So simply turn it off if you are not using it uh, like I do not use it on a daily basis. Whenever I go out I simply use this feature rest of the time it's completely turned off whether it's a digital one analog one or follow watch face simply disable uh, whenever you are not using it this will have a like definite uh, battery improvement of your watch. Now let's talk about the second one. This one is again related to the display itself. So simply pull down the toggles and here you will see the brightness one. And I'll recommend you to turn on the auto brightness sensor. Now most of you guys will say why I am telling you to turn it on. Because like when we turn it off we manually adjust the brightness. And sometimes we forget to like decrease the brightness when we are in a brighter areas. So in that case it will definitely drain out most of the battery so use that auto brightness sensor because the battery drain by the sensor is not as much as it as the entire display drains. So simply turn on the auto brightness sensor it will automatically manage the brightness according to the uh, surrounding environment. Now it's time for the third one again simply go to settings simply scroll up and go to preferences. Now here you will see vibration strength now simply set it to weak. Uh, because by default it is on medium and vibrator motor also consumes a lot of battery so simply switch it to weak uh, and you will obviously get some haptic feedback you do not worry about uh, if, if you miss some notifications or things like that nothing uh, like that happens uh, you can completely feel the vibration whenever a call occurs or some notifications on your phone so no issues with that simply keep it on weak and again this will have a drastic change in your battery life because it directly affects your battery life whenever the vibra vibration motor is running on the watch. Now let's talk about the fourth thing that is the watch faces. Now this is completely personal preference. I would recommend you to use some watch faces which are having dark background and having minimal elements onto them or having uh, elements which are not having a lot of colors onto it. So simply use those type of watch faces which will like uh, improve a battery life a bit more. In this. Now let's talk about the fifth one that is the lift up display. Now I would not uh, tell you to like simply turn it off because that is why we are using the watch. So simply go to lift up on notifications and simply use some schedule settings. So what happens uh, in that particular schedule only the lift up uh, display or wake up display will work. So simply schedule some settings uh, accordingly to have a bit more battery life. Okay guys, so we are done with the 5 settings on our watch which can improve your battery life. Now we have to configure few settings on our Zep app also. So we are on to our phone. So simply open the Zep app and let it connect uh, or synchronize with the watch. Okay, now go to simply profile and then under my devices you will see the watch. Simply open it and here you will simply go to health and monitoring. Now first of all simply go to all day heart rate monitoring and make sure the interval is set to 30 minutes because the lesser the interval the more uh, sensor it will uh, sensor data it will use to calculate your heart rate monitoring entire day. So make sure you keep it on 30% make sure you turn off heart rate alert it will automatically turn off whenever you set uh, like the monitoring interval about 10 minutes so that's fine simply disable the active heart rate monitoring. Uh, well what happens it will simply like uh, monitor your uh, heart beats like like at a very short interval in order to gather more data. 
so we do not need it you can like uh, the 30 minutes one works completely fine so you can turn this off as well now in the sleep monitoring simply turn off this assisted sleep monitoring because turning it off also won't affect the um, like sleep monitoring it's com it works completely fine on the watch although enabling this feature will have some more information regarding your sleep uh, tracking so that's what the actual work is then again at the bottom we have the all day stress monitoring so you can turn this feature off as well because whenever you uh, measure your spo2 it will automatically calculate your stress levels as well so no issues with that also you can simply turn this feature off now these are all the features related to the sensor data so uh, if you like uh, make these settings or turn off most of the setting you will have a drastic improvement in your battery life like about 15 to 20% improvement in your battery life so these are all the eight settings that you can uh, perform on your watch in order to improve your battery life. So yeah, I guess this is pretty much it for this video guys. If you found this video really helpful then do that like button, subscribe button and stay tuned for more such video. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching.